Hi there! I'm here today with a quick cushion review slash wear test sort of thing. This is the Moonshot Face Perfection Balm Cushion. I will be wearing the shade number 101 Ivory. It does come in three different shades total, number 101 Ivory, 201 Beige, and 301 Honey. Now this is my bare skin right before application. As you can see, there's a bit of redness, blotchiness, etc. that needs a bit of a cover-up. Now whenever I apply a base product, be it foundation, BB cream, or cushion, I usually use a brush first. I just find that when I do it this way, whatever product I'm using covers my pores better and applies more evenly overall than just using a puff alone. Now this product I would say is a tiny bit too dark for me. It doesn't really show up that well on camera because of the SPF in the formula, but to the naked eye it is a teensy weensy bit dark. And I'm not going to apply too much product, just enough to cover what I need it to cover. You can see there on my cheeks the nice dewy finish this cushion gives your skin. And I'm going to move on to my cushion puff next. The Moonshot cushion does obviously come with a puff included, but um, <laughs> my large fingers broke the strap on it pretty quickly, so I'm just going to use this puff I got from the Sem. And I'm just going to firmly press the foundation in, or cushion, sorry, and uh, make everything nice and smooth. Now that that's done, let's just pull you in so we can see how the coverage is. It seems to have covered quite well to me, at least. Like I said, I didn't apply a lot, only what I needed. Um, I would say that this is a light medium coverage. You can also see that it hasn't uh, accentuated my smile lines, at least not yet. Now, all we have to do is wait. I'll see you in a bit. Just wanted to jump in really quick here to say that it does crease under the eyeballs. I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah, you can see that. That's horrendous. And under this one a little bit. And it does also... I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up. <clears throat> but it does also leave marks. Like where you touch your face, it will leave marks on your face. Like your little, you'll have little fingerprints because it's so tacky and it doesn't really dry down. So if that's, if you like the dewy finish but you don't want it to slippity slide around or crease, you are going to need to remedy that in some way. Um, whether it be um, a powder or something like that. I usually just pat it out. I don't worry about it too much because I find that if I add powder to something as dewy as this, it just gets cakey way too quickly and that will make me even more self-conscious about what my makeup looks like throughout the day. And I'll want to keep constantly checking it. Yeah, uh, just wanted to check in quickly with uh, that update. It's been about an hour since I first applied. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys later. I just wanted to do a, one last check-in before I wash this off. It's been on my face for about 10 hours, give or take. Uh, it's just about midnight now. Um, the foundation performed exactly how I expected it to. Um, it's a dewy foundation, so uh, it didn't fully set on my face throughout the day. Um, I didn't expect it to. It creased where I expected it to crease. Um, I will say though, to this foundation's credit, um, with the amount that I've been touching my face, and with the number of hours that I've been wearing it, I will say that it 
seems like I haven't lost a lot of coverage overall, except for a little bit. I don't know if you see that on my nose right here, where I've sort of been rubbing my nose throughout the day. Um, so I will say that it seems to hold the coverage pretty well, um, considering how um, tacky it feels. It kind of feels like I've just had a really thick layer of moisturizer sitting on top of my face all day. So if you do need foundation, then you fit into one of the three shades that it's available in. I think it's a perfectly fine foundation anyway. That's it for me.